God bless you. So today we're going to have a look into some of the verses of Psalms 119. For I think when we look at some of these verses, because Psalm 119 is a big chapter. There are 176 verses, but we're just going to look at some of them to get an understanding of that devotion, that love, that compassion, that hunger for striving to learn God's laws so that we can please God, living obediently to his will so that he can guide us in all that we do in our day-to-day -day lives that are pleasing to him. So, if you'd like to come with me into Psalm 119, I'm going to start from verse 1. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his commandments, sorry, who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word with my whole heart, I have sought you. O oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies. As much as in all riches I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. So, we will stop there. So this is the first 20 verses. Are you seeing this? I want your law. I want to follow it. I want to be upright. That desire, that need, this honestness of heart, this devotion, this trust... To walk in all the ways of God. Not some, not most, but all. When we look at this with what Jesus taught. Where he says to be baptised in the name of the Son, the Father and the Spirit. And to obey, obey all that he commanded. We following wholeheartedly. Looking at ourselves. To follow in all that he teaches for our hearts. Hunger and strive to do that which is pleasing. So we see it is not with half heart but with a whole heart that we do not wander from the commandments that we focus on his ways learning and studying them diligently that they are written in our hearts now when we see these things we are seeing that we are children wanting to learn to be obedient the obedient servant of the Lord now receive that love that Jesus brings and to keep it in our hearts and to follow it as in Matthew chapter 5 where it talks about being the lamp for you are the light it is not put under a table but on the top to shine for all so that we can live as that that would be pleasing and not to live in a way that is contrary to the light so we see here that we are focusing on God's laws in our hearts, in our lives. Now, we see here, but this is a focus into how to be more upright. You, you see this compassion here, this, your laws consistently, I want them in me, to focus on them, for I delight in them. They lead me, and guide me in all things. So then when we look at, in Matthew, 
Jesus is talking about being the light. If we knew that we were to do something that is considered contrary, we would work from that, always examining in ourselves in all earnestness. So if we meditate on what we learn and what we study, and we look upon in ourselves, can we find anything that needs that does not match with this? Am I not that compassionate? Am I mean? Am I deceitful? Things that I can remove. Something that, what have I done this day that may not be pleasing to God? So that we can recognize these things and remove them from us. That we are always focusing on being the obedient and upright servant of the Lord. Trusting in all Jesus taught. Same as when he said to love one another as I have loved you in John 15 verse 12. So we live in love for one another, treating everyone as ourselves, the good Samaritan. So we're focusing on this love and the, the love of our hearts for others, to treat others as ourselves, to do that which is good in the eyes of the Lord, to strengthen wholeheartedly that we do not judge others but live in love for one another focusing in all God taught us following on the narrow path and being devoted to it for you have the Sermon on the Mount to learn all the commands and to follow thereof and to study and learn from them and grow in strength and in faith so when we look at this and we start to think in ourselves is there a behaviour I see in myself that needs to be worked on? Or something I'm unaware of and say another sees it and says, Ah, oh. for it says also if we see that our brother or our sister sin, that we take them personally to the side and speak to them about it. If they do not listen, then take two others with you. If they still do not listen, then take them to the church. For we are always working in love and in kindness for one another. Remember, we're all working together in the body of Christ for the glory of God above, not for ourselves. I hope you'll read Psalms 119 fully. If I want to keep this video short, for I know they can be long sometimes. And I want you to go through your Sermon on the Mount. Focus on all that Jesus teaches and guides us to do. God bless every one of you.